this one's quite a unique design so it's um, a record player as you can see and it's um, the famous band the Arctic Monkeys this is the lead singer from the band apparently with his guitar um, lots of fondant work on this one so I started off with a square cake and I panelled the sides to give it this super sharp square look and then sort of built up the tops to make it look like the uh, record players encased we've got a fondant disc which is then sat on another fondant disc um, to make it look like it's slightly raised so the record player can uh, so the uh, record can play <laughs> turn around should I say we've got the arm um, <clears throat> a bit thicker than I wanted the arm to be but by the time I'd uh, looked through my stash of dowels I realised um, I'd only got quite thick ones and I didn't have time to order any more so what I've done is got a plastic dowel it's inside there I've wrapped it with some fondant um, and then painted it a silver and then just inserted it into a big dollop of fondant um, and then made the sort of needle the little guy the figure that took forever <laughs> But they do <laughs> to get all the proportions right, you know. Even though, even though it's a caricature of somebody, um, you know, the head is obviously a lot bigger than it would be on a normal person, and you know, everything's slightly off. Um, you still have to sort of try and get things similar sizes, and his face is quite detailed as well. And a little guitar at the side which I've made out of modelling paste and that's it standing up by I've just inserted a cocktail stick into the uh, bottom of the guitar and sat that into the cake and then lent it up against the model just a little bit of water in between and it it should hold up so the uh, wiggly line on the front which is the band's album cover I believe is an edible image um, but I then backed it onto a plaque of white fondant to make it really stand out. Some little buttons on top as well, all just sort of used, uh, made using fondant and modelling paste. The Arctic Monkey logo on the record is an edible image, but as I say, I cut out a disc of fondant for it to sit on, and then. Um, a disc of fondant underneath. It actually looks wonky from this angle but it isn't. It is flush or straight. So we've got the super sharp corners which you can achieve with the panelling method of using fondant which is great. What I did is I cut out, I measured the length and the height that I needed so I cut out exactly the, the right size and then popped them to one side for about half an hour for it to firm up a little bit so that when I sort of attached it to the cake it kept its shape not too much because then I was able to sort of manipulate areas um, if I needed to but just enough for it to hold its shape so that I could get it on nice and square um, and then the writing on the boards just done with some tappets so it's quite a you know I, with black and white cakes for some reason I, I don't like black and white together on a cake I just think they look really stark but because this is sort of um, a record player you know it's got character with what it actually is it doesn't look too bad so yeah quite a quite a smooth simple design and if done right can look really effective. Really happy with this guy's face. I followed um, a tutorial on YouTube for that. There's, there's loads out there actually. Um, but yeah, that's all hand modelled his features. 
So yeah, that's uh, my simple record player cake. You know, not terribly realistic, but you definitely, uh, you definitely know what it is. So there we are, my Arctic Monkeys record player cake.